Look out, folks. Here comes Patty the Batty with a resounding first round submission of Rodrigo Vargas at UFC Fight Night 204 on March 19th. Liverpool native Paddy Pimblett delighted the home crowd at London's O2 Arena and put the larger MMA universe on notice. The era of the baddie may be upon us. Long before his most recent victory, folks had been comparing Pimblett to another notoriously cocksure motormouth fighter from across the pond, Conor McGregor. And you can bet that the hype surrounding Pimblett will only get bigger now that he's improved to 2 0 in the UFC. I'm the boy, aren't I, lad? You know, I put bums on seats, lad, and I put people. People want to watch the telly lab when I'm on it. So who is this floppy-haired soundbite machine? And why is he potentially poised to be the UFC's next big thing? Let's break it down. Sit back, relax, and take this in. While 27-year-old Pimblet is only months removed from his electrifying UFC debut, a first-round KO of Luigi Vendramini at Fight Night 191, the lightweight has actually been building his MMA resume for a decade now. He turned pro as a 17-year-old and quickly became one of the most promising talents in the UK. In his first four years as a pro, in fact, Pimblet lost just once. I've said it before. I reckon in a past life, lad, I was a gladiator in the Coliseum because I was just meant to do this. Ultimately, he compiled a record of 16 and three fighting back home, notably winning the Cage Warriors featherweight title in 2016 and successfully defending it once before moving up a weight class. And after going three and one in his first four fights in the lightweight division with first round victories in each of his final two bouts, the UFC came calling. A black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Patty's hailed for his submission skills, which were on full display against Vargas, who tapped out before Patty's rear naked choke put him to sleep. He's a creative fighter, however, and his striking game is nothing to sneeze at. Just ask Vendramini. And notably, Pimblet has never been KO'd, a major point of pride for the Scouser, or Liverpool native. I'm a Scouser. We don't get knocked out. While his defense nevertheless remains a work in progress, the lad can fight, plain and simple. And he's not afraid to toot his own horn either. I I'm here to take over, lad. I'm the new cash cow. I'm the new main man on the UFC roster. I best be in the game next week, lad. That's simple, you know what I mean? Of course, lots of talented fighters throughout UFC history ooze self-confidence, but didn't necessarily make that leap to start him. What sets Patty apart, however, besides that Beatles haircut, is his magnetic personality, that effortless charm and wicked sense of humor. Qualities that helped him cultivate a robust following back home and have him primed to become a bona fide star in the UFC. To put it bluntly, he is, well, I'm, I'm a marketer's wet dream. He's not wrong. Consider this. Footage of the pre-fight face-off between 204 headliners Tom Aspinall and Alexander Volkov received 120,000 views on UFC president Dana White's Instagram. The footage of Paddy's face-off with Vargas got 1.3 million views. As such, while he's flattered by the comparisons to McGregor, whom he called the biggest star that MMA has ever seen, Pimblet has said that he'll be even bigger than the Irishman and that he'll be able to turn even young kids into MMA fans in a way that McGregor couldn't. The question then is what comes next for Patty, whose all-time pro record now stands at 18 and three. If he had his way, his next fight would be against Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg, whom he called out in his post-fight interview at O2. But who I wanna fight? Mark Zuckerberg? Lad, I'm gonna punch your head in. I'm sick of you, lad. You know what I mean? Sick of you. Shut my Instagram accounts down. When all I do is help charities and help people with mental health problems, you're the biggest bully on the, in the world, lad. A more plausible option, however, would be Ilya El Matador Tapuria, who called Pimblet out following his own Octagon victory in London, just days after the two got into a physical altercation at the host hotel. Pimblet, however, scoffed at the call out from Tapuria. As such, Patty's next opponent is something of a mystery at the moment. But unless White is willing to renegotiate his contract, we can safely say it won't be a top ranked fighter. Following his victory over Vargas, Pimblet said he wouldn't accept a fight against the top 15 fighter without some more zeros on his contract. Having said that, Pimblet could at least be the main event of the evening next time he steps into the octagon. When asked if Pimblet is ready for the spotlight following his victory in London, White didn't say no and even volunteered the possibility of Patty headlining a fight night, which admittedly doesn't have the cachet of a numbered event, even though the Brit is just two fights into his UFC career. No matter who or when he fights next though, Pimblet looks like a star on the rise, 
the real deal, as White put it. And so long as he keeps winning, there doesn't seem to be anything preventing him from becoming the UFC's next big thing. And before we let you go, if you're interested in rocking some of the SCORE gear, check out all our apparel at shop.thescore.com. You can find the link in the description. Go get yourself a hoodie, a crew neck, or a tee, and you can look as cool as I do. We'll see you next time.